pretty good size. I wish it wasn't underneath the boat though, because if he gets in that motor, I'm screwed. Wow, dude, that's a big bass, Aaron. Oh yeah, that's a nice bass, dude. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, me and Aaron are heading out for some bass. Actually, we're already out here. We're on the new boat. We got here a lot quicker because of it. And uh, Aaron's running a top water right now. But I'm probably going to throw on maybe a spinner or something like that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use yet, but let's see here. I don't have many bass fishing lures. If you guys got a favorite bass lure, leave it down in the comments. But I'm going to try one of these spinner baits. Go for something a little natural, more natural colored. Maybe this black and yellow one will do better. But I'm going to tie that on the old slime cat and get rolling. All right, Aaron just hooked on to a little Dink Northern. Little guy, probably a 13 incher. Oh, yeah, good catch and release. There, perfect. He didn't have to touch it and get off the line. Me. Awesome. Size to him. All right, guys, Aaron's hooked on to something good. Sorry for the shaky camera work. Bass? I don't know. I can't really see it. It's fighting it good. I think it is a bass. Yep. Nice bass. It looks like. Oh yeah, it's a nice bass. Good thing I freaking netted him, dude. Yeah. Because your lure popped out. That was good right there. Literally played basketball with this fish. That was awesome. There you go. Decent little I don't bass. Know if he's quite a. I wouldn't say he's giant, but he's a good little fish. He's even quite an eater, but. I mean, that's up to you. You can release him if you want, or eat him. I'll release him. He's not huge. Not giant. No, but good little bass. Heck yeah. With the release. There he goes. Whoa. Big old daddy perch on the crankbait. The bait's like half the size of the fish. They've smashed this thing so hard. God, that perch is so hot right now. There we go, little perch. First fish of the day. Aaron's caught like 40 fish already, but... I'm oh, trying to go for bigger that's, fish. That's how much they've smashed it. Look how Paint starting to my, peel? No, look how bent my shaft is. Oh, yeah. Right. Aaron's caught in at least 30 perch. Oh, yeah. That one bass and northern. and a northern. But I don't really want to catch any perch today, per se. I want to catch more like bass and pike. That's why I'm using yeah. a little bit bigger baits. That look good, anyway. There we go, guys. On with a nice bass or, or a pike, one of the two. Oh, oh damn yeah. it, you spit it. Oh. That was a nice bass. Man, I had a good hook set on that sucker, too. That was a nice bass. Dude, okay. Well, that's the color that, like, first cast on that thing. Darn. Too bad he popped off, man. That was a good one. Has Aaron hooked onto a nice bass or something? Could be anything, but it hasn't jumped yet, so I'm kind of thinking maybe oh. a pike. Huh? Well, that would be freaking sick, dude. Oh, yeah, it would. It's a fucking. Looks like a good fish. It's a good fish. That rod bend. Staying right down with it. Could be a huge bass. Wow. Wow. That's a good fish, dude. Or it's in a bunch of weeds, but I think it's big fish. I think it's a good fish. I think it's northern? I don't know. I can't see nothing yet. It's head shaking. But... No, yeah, bass. Bass in a bunch of weeds. It doesn't have that many weeds on it, though. Not that many. Yeah, it's still a good bass. It's a good bass. Uh, there we go. Bass number two for Aaron. And one pop off for Jacob. That's a nice bass, dude. I was gonna say that one might be an eater. Not too big, not too small. Wow. Wow, you barely had him, dude. Yeah. Nice. That's a nice one. It's a nice one. You gonna, you gonna take him home to eat? Yeah, I don't keep many bass, but you know what? I already gotta clean some perch. True story. Might as well make a good bass beer battered cheese. bass. Hooked on. On the shoreline too, using a uh, like little creature bait now. I'm gonna grab that net. 
Feels like a pretty decent sized one. Oh, yeah, that's a good that's size. Good. Give him a little drag, maybe. Come on. Pretty good size. I wish he wasn't underneath the boat, though, because if he gets in that motor, I'm screwed. Wow, dude. That's a big bass, Aaron. Oh, yeah. That's a nice bass, dude. Oh, that's a hog, dude. I know. Net that son of a gun, dude. Ooh. Oh yeah, baby, that's a nice bass. Oh. Pig, dude. Well, I guess I know I'm gonna continue using it today. Whoa, that's a nice bass, bro. Does anyone know what the master angler size is for bass? Get this guy unhooked. You don't know what the master angler size is for bass? I do not. Alright, I'm just gonna set this guy in the net. But in, in the water. So I'm gonna keep this guy and I might be doing a catch and cook on him because I haven't done that on my channel yet. But uh, we're gonna throw him right in the cooler. And that'll be my bass I keep for the day. I haven't had some for a long time, so. big old bucket mouth dude I love it so that's what I'm using right there it's one of those zoom uh, I think it's a brush hog I want to say or Z hog don't even ask me the color I bought this thing like boy I don't know probably 10 years ago or more and this is like the only one I have left all right guys Aaron just hooked up a little tiny largey on the uh, the old maps cutie that one's going back for sure cutie Oop. Got some folks jamming behind me. As Aaron's on with a bass, I think. Could be a pit pike. We haven't seen it yet. Rip and drag pretty good, though. Oh, yeah, bull pout, but. That's a big bass. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Fat, dude. That's a football. Man, my netting skills are great. Jump right in the net. Heck yeah, dude. There you go. Number six for today. I've only actually landed one bass. Aaron's kicking my butt so today. There goes. Nice little bass. Yeah. There's something weird going on on his gill plate. Oh, yeah. We're going to let that one go. I got my meal for the day. There, there he goes. goes. Hopefully, one of the little kids will catch him. There we go guys, another bass. Little guy, but he's feisty. I think I can I think I can handle this one. I hope. Little guy. Yeah, this is Smalley. Cool. First Smalley of the year. Jeez um, buddy. Calm your britches down. Perfect hook set with the treble too. It's on like a little shad wrap, Excalibur shad wrap or something. Let's see if we can get this guy off without hurting him too bad. There we go. Heck yeah. Another little bass. See you, dude. Guys, so we had a pretty good day on the water, and uh, now it's time to clean. This nice bass, nice 17 incher. Um, I haven't had bass for quite a long time. So clean these guys, it's just like flying literally any other fish. So what you're gonna do, I like to start on my dominant side always. And then right behind this uh, fin here, you just come in and I like to go in at a hard angle because there's a lot of meat up towards the back of the head that you, you'll miss if you don't. <clears throat> so I like to come in at a hard angle, come straight in, and then up behind his head there. And then once you get that done, then you just start working your way down the backbone of the fish. So you gotta turn your knife. If 
I've never had bass. It's pretty good. I haven't had it in a long time, so I almost forgot what it tastes like. But last time I had it, it was delicious. Just gotta get through those first couple of rib bones to get started. And once you do that, it's pretty good going. There we go. Alright, so there. Now we get the place started, so now we can just hold on to it. And then stop before you get the meat off the tail. And then you just go ahead and swoop it right over. And then start the tail, push down to the skin. Whoops, that's not supposed to happen, but either way it's okay. You just hold the skin if you can get a grip on it. Just follow the meat. <clears throat> then you just follow the uh, bottom of the skin right up to the end of the foot. Now you're left with the skin. Just now you're left with the skin, it's just nothing but waste. And then you want to take and start your ribs here. And just follow it right around. I haven't done a bass in a long time, so I don't know if they have any rib meat, but we'll just see if they do or not. I don't think they have a lot, if any. No, they don't really have any. So. We're not going to worry about getting a little bit of meat off the ribs there. And there you go, guys. There's your giant bass fillet. That's a huge fillet. Giant. Now put that in your bowl. Then you flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. It's off that one bass. Got a good freaking pile of meat right there. Alright guys, so it's time to cook this bass. I got it all fixed up already. It's ready to roll. I'm gonna, just going to explain to you what I've done. And yeah, let's take a look. So right here, we have the bass fillets. And then these are coated in just flour, pretty much. Just dredge them in flour. Um, basically just roll them up real quick. Over here we got some uh, lemon juice with parsley. That's going to come into play later. We got uh, two chunks of uh, butter, both two tablespoon chunks. We have some. Uh, then we have some garlic, uh, about three cloves sliced up, and then one fresh jalapeno. So I'm going to be cooking on the grill today, just because it's hot outside and it's like a perfect grilling weather. Right here, I got my cast iron pan. I'm going to take. I'm going to take one chunk of this butter, dead center on the pan. So I'll put this off to the side for now. Grab our utensil and just and just rub that all over the pan. Get it all melted and whatnot. But our pan's nice and preheated, so let's take. Let's take our flays. Lay them right in there. Well, your your boy forgot to get some propane, so uh, the grill kind of shut off, and uh, no cooking was happening. So what I've done is uh, we're going old school, cooking over the wood fire basically the same thing just a lot hotter heat it's actually better for this particular recipe anyways because you're supposed to like really get a nice sear on it so I'll wait for that to burn down a little ways and I'm gonna get the cast iron on there 
Oh yeah, guys, we got the sizzle going on. Look at this. Hit that, hit that nice sizzle in that butter. Oh, that's gonna be good. So what you wanna do, cook it about three minutes on one side over a nice, good flame, either on the wood fire or a grill or just a regular stove top, as long as it's in a pan. And then once you get done the three minutes on that side, flip it over, do about three to, yeah, probably about three minutes on the other side. Take them out, and then I'll show you what to do next. Oh yeah, golden brown, baby. Golden brown. Those are about to be great. You guys see the color on that meat? Check this out, guys. Oh yeah, it looks just like a chicken fried steak. This thing looks delicious. Well, that fish is good to go, looks like. Let's just double check. That thickest part is right here, probably. Yeah, it's nice and flaky, so that's good to go. Yeah. So take your flays off. Look at those beautiful flays. Take those off and set them off to the side for now. Is that stuff you had earlier? Flip the other stick of butter in there. Flick your garlic and jalapenos in. And then go ahead and take your parsley and your uh, lemon juice and your other seasonings. Nothing them right in there. That's going to make a super nice thing to go with. So go ahead and just stir that around a little bit. Basically all you're doing is just making a little bit of a, um, well, something to eat, I don't know. I don't know what the heck it's called. The real sauce! So this stuff only needs to sit in there for about a minute before it's ready to roll, so I'm going to go get the fish. Do you guys like my pretty pink plate? Just take that stuff, put that right on top of your bass. Just like that. And there you have it. That delicious, delicious looking bass. I just brought my wife out to give this a shot here. You gotta make sure you get some of the uh, jalapenos and garlic on there. Feels kind of hot. That's not that hot. How is it? How is it? Good. So here we go. We're about to dive into this. The wife tried it. She liked it. Now it's my turn to give it a try. I'm going to take a little bit bigger bite than hers. So. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that's hot. Wow. Super, super hot from that fire. But man, is that good. That is super good. I've done good on this one. Makes me want to go catch another bass to eat it again. But that is some super good food right there. Look at that meat. It's nice and flaky. You get a huge chunk of the meat off a of bass too. Actually two huge chunks of meat. Yeah, this is definitely happening again. Oh, like usual, I'm not going to let you guys sit here and watch me eat a whole plate of fish. Because that's probably boring. But I will tell you. This fish right here, 10 out of 10. The way this, the way I cooked this, with the jalapenos and garlic and the butter and lemon juice, freaking awesome. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Definitely will be doing this again. If you've never tried bass, or you've heard they taste like awful, um, that's a lie. Go catch yourself a bass. Do it just like I did this one, and I guarantee you, you'll want to eat them all the time. This is like literally one of the best eating fish I've had in a while. Um, and I don't even know how else to even explain it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video. Also, let me know down in the comments what you think I should catch and cook next. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.